Joining me now in the studio here is Sean Michael Cox. He's the Director of Academic Affairs and International Programs at Pachishir University here in Istanbul. Thank you for coming into the studio. Uh, first off, I mean, how do, you, how do you see this all playing out? Well, at some point, someone's going to have to blink. Uh, historically, it was the president. But Donald Trump is uh, a very different president than we've had in the past. And rather than back down or negotiate, he tends to double down and to exaggerate. So he's very likely to try and push the envelope with this government shutdown and apply pressure to the Democrats. He's going to try and reframe the argument because although several weeks ago he claimed he was happy to shut down the government and he'd be proud of it for national security, now he's laying it fully at the feet of the Democrats and he's shifting the opinion of many of his supporters, his extended supporters, into believing the same thing. That was my next question. How important is uh, public perception in all of this? As we said, uh, Trump's going down to the border over the past couple of days. We've seen him bring out various homeland security officials, border security officials. How important is the perception of the public here? It's very, very important. In fact, it's demonstrated it's so important because we've moved away from looking at the facts of the matter, more at the personal opinions of each side in the matter. Neither side wants to give an inch because this is a new term for a democratic controlled house and they don't want their first big run out of the gate to be a loss a concession to President Trump and President Trump doesn't want to have a major loss on his side to something that he's put a lot of effort into. As uh, we said, this is now the, I think, second or third longest. Second longest, yes. Second longest partial uh, shutdown. Um, but there's a bit of irony here, isn't it, given this has all happened because of the border security issue and now the people who are not getting paid are kind of involved in that. Can you explain? Well, in fact, it is very ironic because the Department of Homeland Security is the one major agency that's affected by this, and that covers customs and border control, um, then co covers the Transportation uh, Security Administration, or Safety Administration, I believe it's called now, the TSA, and even the Coast Guard. Although the Coast Guard is a military organization, it's funded through Department of Homeland Security. So in shutting down the government to give us more security, in fact, it could be leading to a situation where the United States is less secure in other areas. And just finally, Trump has threatened to bypass Congress, although there has been a lot of discussion about whether he can actually do that in order to build this wall. Um, how likely do you think that is to, to actually happen? He has a constitutional right to declare a national emergency, but there has been legislation passed since the 1970s to better define what those circumstances are and what that situation is. The fact of the matter is that the Congress is a co-equal branch of government, and he needs to work with them to resolve the issue. Well, we all have to wait and see while uh, other people are obviously not getting paid as they wait. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. That's Sean Michael Cox, the Director of Academic Affairs and International Programs at Bacchishir University.